good was popping YouTube family. We back with another reaction video. We got Sensei again with the demonic androids of DBZ. First off, 17, best character in all of Dragon Ball. He was my late, he's my favorite character. My favorite villain is Boo. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm saying villain is Boo, but you know, this, this 17 just had that. So, especially when he got the minking up Piccolo. I know that's racist, but still, he was, <clears throat> come here. But then, like, you know, in the tournament of power, he got the show out real quick, you know what I'm saying? He got the, hey, MVP, MVP. But, nah, sin dropping these bangers back to back to back to back to back. Come on now. Y'all know what the drill is, bro. We gotta, gotta show. Hold on, where we at now, man? <laughs> he almost at 20K. Oh. <laughs> That's a cold man right there, man. But look, though. Let me know who y'all favorite Android is down, like, you know, from the games to movies to just anything, you know, like, some of y'all might be, uh, might be an Aider fan. Aider was cool, you know what I'm saying? Aider was cool. But with that being said, make sure you go to the description. His channel will be linked down below along the original video. Make sure you go show some and love. He's amazing with it. Hit the sub button. We almost at 2K. <coughs> Right, hop right into it. Hold on, let me move this over real quick. By the beam, hold on. Ooh, my bad, y'all, my bad. Chill out, chill out, chill out. All my life, I've been living in a simulation. <laughs> Do the same thing every day. Walking past all the bad hoes, mm -hmm. not talking to them. Same. I ain't got no game. Same. For a long time, Same. I thought I was the main protagonist. Like I was perfect or something. Same. Like, what is perfect? Definitely ain't me. It Shit, definitely ain't me. Mommy, low IQ. Same. And I ain't even finished high school. But in the world, there are some perfect people. I don't know about that. Ass hey. They're almost artificial. Square they Bob. Perfect. Built to last. And today, we're here to talk about some of those individuals. The scary thing about it all is they got the drip, mm -hmm. the hose, mm -hmm. the bread. Mm -hmm. They don't got no emotion. Some of my boy Trey. No. Let's talk about True. the demon androids. The True. DBZ. All right, picture it. You're in open space. Mm -hmm. You see planets here, planets there, right. chunks of rocks, meteors. But in the distance, what is that? You zoom in real close and you see it. It's a half body of a racist. <gasps> because in deep space at the beginning of the saga, for some odd Freezer reason, survived. they decided to put Freezer of all people still alive, floating in space. But don't get it confused. I said half a racist for a reason. That he's motherfucker was he's a pack. He looked like that nigga got in a fight with a cheese grater. Oh, I ain't not gonna lie. Goku did a number on him. But I guess for and plot convenience, Toriyama had to keep Frieza alive to introduce a character we're gonna talk about real soon. So, man, I guess I'll let it slide. So anyways, we have our favorite racist I mean, Frieza flying throughout Damn. the cosmos. And eventually his dad, King Cold, finds him. King Cold looks just like Frieza's just, second form. Yeah, but except just, Frieza a little bit bigger. Yeah. Voice is a little deeper, I guess. He got a cape on. I don't know why bro was wearing a cape, bro. There yeah, is he was not cool. About yeah, you, capes bro. Are, what are you saying? First of all, capes are kind of lame anyway. The coolest anyway. thing about this is his name, bro. King no Cold? Intended. His name is King Cold. That's cold. <laughs> Anyways, they find That's Frieza's cold. body. They bring it back to the spaceship. They start working on him, yo. It reminded me of like, you have the money. You have the technology. Remember the million dollar man, yo? They built the man up, turned mm -hmm. him into some robotic, I robot ass, yeah. Will Smith slash, I am like, legend, got the Wally weirdo, experiment, yeah. like, my man. And that's what they did with this Freezer, man. They turned this into a Terma racist, bro. They turned him into a Mecha robotic Klux Klan member, bro. I, I, oh Mecha God, Klansman. I, okay. So anyways, Mecha Freezer is born, bro. Besides that, everything on Earth is all fine and dandy. People are glad we defeated Frieza. Man, this is awesome. But besides that, everybody's back on Earth just spending their days. They're like, oh, this is great. Goku's not back yet, but he'll be here soon. Vegeta isn't back. Thank God nobody wants to stare at his deep V-ass hairline <laughs> all season. I mean, look, man, I'm sorry I'm that I keep talking about Vegeta, but he did one of the worst things in this saga. We're going to talk about that, too. You I swear so to God. Also, deep. can you blame me, bro? Look at his hairline. Who did that to you? 
his Bro, father. Your is not your friend. <laughs> his That's father. That's not a hairline you need blueprints for. A nigga made a whole schematic to shake that uh, out. Oh, me, give it him. Bother building here. Put an architect on the team for that shit. Now, Yamcha's at Castle Core with Balmar, and there's like this like side plot going on where basically he's going to get his bitch taken. I, I don't know how else to put it. <sighs> Vegeta finally shows up, bro. He crash lands outside of Shame. Capsule Corporation. And this is kind of where it all starts. Because Vegeta gets here, he's all dirty, he's all nasty and grubby. You know what I'm saying? But Boma kind of into that. You feel Look me? Look at Yamcha, like he gonna do something. Or something. Like, she looking at the dirt on him. She was like, <laughs> and took this nigga inside to get a bag. And I feel like this is where his bitch got taken. I'm gonna be honest, bro. She seen him. She took his muscly she ass in there, probably yeah, watched him take a shower. You feel me? Boma on her freak tip. You know, Boma been like that since OG. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, she has. Now, after this man takes the shower yo they put the most ridiculous pink shirt on him oh I've god ever seen, pink bro. lemonade like, fit what hawaiian island did you get this shirt from bro dressed him up like a samoan I, I, I like what are you wearing anyways i'm not going to dwell on the outfits bro but what i am going to dwell on is the fact that they sense this man freezes kai energy at this point Everybody was on high alert because they felt the racist presence that was coming from the cosmos. He was finna like, say the N word. Oh God, that's a slave master. Like, well, I'm just saying. Hey. So at this point, Frieza's on his he way to Earth to get some sort of revenge against Son Goku. I don't know why you would want to fight a Super Saiyan again yeah. after what they did to you the last time. Yeah, he but just I mean, mixed you I guess crazy. it is what it is, man. We'll find out what's going to happen when you get here. Now, Frieza lands, yo, and everybody seems like they're scared. But in a way where it's like, look, man, I, I know that this is, you feel me? The ultimate. Gohan oppressor. was ready. You got the suit on, but nah, we got the Dragon Balls. It is what it is. I, I, I'm, just playing, I'm just playing, but nobody really was scared except for Yamcha, and uh, it, it's already bad enough that this man had his bitch taken. Like I'm just saying, like how do you have your Look girl taken like, from you, yo. bro? This man had everything going for him. Professional baseball player. You feel me? He had the bread. You know what I'm saying he had the whole. He's a lame. Apparently, he was two time in Boma, and she went with Vegeta. Yeah. That's at least what I found on the wiki when I did some research. Yeah, it's on it. true. Though. To me, I just think my man Vegeta just had the better pipe pause whoa was why would you whoa I'm just saying though he was giving her pipe like a warp world on super mario brothers that's all i'm saying how you Anyways, know my point is all hope was lost for these niggas because vegeta is still not a super saiyan even though he liked the claim he was and frieza is even stronger than he was before in the mecha form but all hope was not really lost because look it's a bird it's a plane Who, it's, it's a, a crop top it's a little in a vest I'm not gonna lie, my trunks had finally arrived, and I'm not going to hold you. When I first saw this nigga as a kid, I thought he was the coolest thing. Yeah, we all did. Bread. We like, all did. always say that. Sliced bread ain't even that yeah, cool. Yeah, it's before. not like, cool. Like, chilled Who with said sliced that? Bread before. He got hurt. Right. Like, what are you talking saying, about? I, 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 my point is, what are you talking about? this is drippy. Yeah, he got that little ass vest. You feel me? He could have got a little bigger vest for real. Like, why you got a belly shirt vest on? Crop top make it hard though. He do got the drip though. You feel me? Hair, you feel me? Ponytail got the sword. Ponytail. Oh, that's a bowl cut, man. You know what I'm saying he got a yamin on him. This he got a wet on him. So it is just trunks punishing these niggas, bro. I mean, everybody. Freezer's forces came at this and punished them, bro. Make it, 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 make it. Yeah, they stood they no lasted, chance. He said, I don't know. Let me see, check my time. Uh, about two seconds. He punished them. So at this point, Freezer's interested. He's like, Oh, I guess you are. You feel me? You got a little spunk in you and that spunk did not he's, he's not the only show. super saiyan this around man punished and i mean punished frieza frieza hit this man with every blast in the arsenal this man ate all of that he didn't even block the blast didn't do anything bro was trying every combo with his weave 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 and every hack this every freezes whole vision split in half yo this is a magic trick freezer yeah he Abra did Kadabra, you know when you be in the box and they saw you in the head with a jack in the box dead to him bro all you see is freezes vision change as his whole body is sliced in half imagine bro, seeing torn that though? in half rebuilt and then torn in half again punished you i ain't gonna lie but what he did to king cole yeah it was so body. hilarious so king bro. cole tried to finesse him i ain't gonna lie he came over there talking about yo that's a nice sword you got well, let I me see, see it? it and i'm thinking to myself say, yeah you can't be no, myself without this sword. sword but man that saying pride is deep even in the half and half show you feel me even in the arnold palmer saying the this arnold palmer. gave him a sword and i'm just like oh my god this dumb man oh god this man had a sword in his hand he's like oh it seems like this is the only reason you defeat a freezer and then he goes to attack him with his own sword. So you could have avoided this if you just didn't give him the sword. But it didn't even matter though. Bro completely blocked this and punished him. Yeah. He's like, please, please spare me. Yeah, he please. got scared. There's something about them uh, Arcosians, man. They be scared. And this man Trunks hit this with the, what do you call that? Buster, no, is it Buster Kent? No. The burning oh, burning attack? Yeah. No, I think that's what he hit Freezer with. I ain't gonna lie, yo. He hit Freezer with the burning attack. Burning slash. Him, yo. I think it was called the burning attack. Man, what are y'all weeb ass 
to tell me in the comments, show. It don't even matter. But my point is, yo, he punished me. Nigga, can't cold. Definitely cold now. My skin is cold to the touch because he's in a grave. Shut up. We find out that Trunks is here from the future, basically. Now, this nigga came from the future because there's a timeline where these artificial humans pretty much destroyed the world. They killed it's most the of the people, Jones. which drove tens of thousands that were left underground in bunkers. Mm -hmm. These niggas basically became like, 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 I don't even know. The Ice Age to the dinosaurs to these Ice Age to they the dinosaurs. These niggas that made them go underground, bro. Groundhog Day was every day for these niggas. So Trunks decided, so stupid, like, look, bro. man, Shut I don't up. really know what to do bro these niggas is too strong maybe i can go to this other timeline hopefully help them get rid of their threat then i'll be able to come back be stronger and then beat mine and this is why i don't respect this nigga trunk show because instead of just fighting like a real nigga bro you feel me even gohan was training them this nigga came to a different timeline he was still he weak stronger though androids in it yeah got stronger the stronger androids was just a weakness. miscalculation this is the equivalent <laughs> of being in a private school and getting bullied so your mom transferred you to public school you went there got yeah, tough bullied. you feel me dealing with those kids and then you got transferred back to private school now you in there bullying little timothy for his lunch that's what he get though that's what he get though that's what he get though trunks did that's what he get that though goku look man you got three years before these show up also, you're going to get a heart virus. But don't worry. Here's this magic medicine I brought from the future. Yeah, my mom made it. <sighs> Here, this nigga Trunks go changing the future already, bro. And that shit definitely had big repercussions. We're going to talk about those. But not for that him, dude. Sweet. Not Everything's for his cool. timeline. Goku, like, I'm going to be the mouth closed type. I ain't going to tell nobody. But he didn't count on Piccolo having Dumbo ears. Oh, me. Hyena ear. away. Because of this, Piccolo explained to everybody what was going on without revealing who Trunks was, which really didn't even matter because this just told everybody later when he came. <laughs> I swear to God, shut up. Anyways, three years have passed. These has been on the training arc. Trunk showed up so cool to be a lane. Appear. Now, <coughs> we don't know what at the time, but Android 19 and Android 20. Who Terrible fit. Wait, what is them ice cream the sandwich fit? Trunks was talking about. But they are demons. These niggas <coughs> show up, bro, and they go to a city. The first thing they do is start smoking niggas immediately. Their whole objective yeah, is to kill you smoke Goku, pedestrian. None like, of these people are Goku. Why are you killing people? Yeah, like you got him in your Big database. Started smoking civilians, bro. Android 19 was on a war path. A truck is about to hit Dr. Jero. He punches the engine out the car. Then he walks up and chokes the n through the car window. Why did you do that? At this point, Yamcha shows up because he done seen the explosions. This like Yamcha gonna do smoked something. smoked immediately, bro. They put their whole arm through this n Bro, they turn Yamcha into a pack every time this man gave him that Ren Goku Ren treatment. Naming Saga, pack. Android Saga, pack. Also, Android Saga got his whole taken. I'm just saying that's three times already. This nigga's always getting packed up. He gets packed up again later. I, oh my god, Joe. Yo, when we get to the next video, bro, when we talk about Perfect Cell, yeah, the stuff that happens to this nigga with the Cyberman, oh God, I swear to God. With the Cell Juniors, bro. Explodes and Yamcha's key is dropping crazily, which lets everybody know where they're at. So they rush over to help. Goku's asking them, like, yo, let's go somewhere uninhabited so we can fight, bro. <laughs> Androids are like, we don't have to go anywhere. And they start leveling the entire city with eye beams. It's turned into Super, Cyclops. Factory. Right. They no weird percussions. Is this the X Men? Is Professor Xavier about to come talk to these? Because these niggas literally leveled the entire city. It was quick. Like, he was just firing them off. Bro. Yell at these niggas to stop. He was like, stop it. What are you doing? That's the same shit I said. Knock this head off. So they start flying off, bro, to go somewhere uninhabited. And when they finally get there, they tell Goku their objective. Basically, they've been watching him and all of his friends for a long time now through these little robots, and they're mad because he stopped the Red Ribbon Army. Yeah, he, he leveled the Red Ribbon so Army. So let me just put this in perspective for y'all. Dr. Jero, this old-ass nigga, he's probably like, what, 80, 90, 70? I don't know. Old. He's mad at a 10-year-old. So mad that he had robots following this nigga since he was a child. Not a Terminator. His life to get calculations on this nigga in order to build the perfect specimens to defeat him. That is the biggest hater shit I have ever seen in my life. The dick eating is crazy. Anyways, Goku <laughs> it is, 19 happens. He starts mixing this Android 19, but he's getting tired. At first they think it's cause his Kai is being absorbed by him. Cause for some reason, these two have that ability, even though the other androids later don't. Specialize. Like, I still don't understand that, make but whatever. For some reason, but he put not, pain receptors on his body too. Went Super Saiyan, it jump started it. Goofy ass exerted too much energy. 
try to eat a sensu bean that didn't work bro when you're that sick and the sensu bean doesn't work yeah the sensu bean is supposed to be a, uh, you're out of the here. end all be all Android of cure, 19 really. is on top of the guy at this point absorbing his energy he is punishing this but thank god yo vegeta show up. wipe my sweat off my brow because the deep v himself has arrived the mcdonald's arch saying has arrived the mcdonald's the arch vegeta saying here. big v he arrives yamcha takes this goku off he's like look i'm about to go get this nigga this wonder medicine and Vegeta goes Super Saiyan, and oh my god. We get this little flashback of how we learned Super Saiyan, and long story short, this nigga was so envious of Goku. He, he just turns a into a Super Saiyan. He forced himself to do it. Yeah. Nigga got so mad because he's a hating ass. Nigga, I don't know what planet he was on. Yo, he punishes Android 19 and badly. <laughs> like, he punishes. Tell me, nigga. Android, do a machine as <laughs> yourself feel fear. Nigga grabbed Vegeta and started sucking his energy out. Pause. But Vegeta used his feet, put him against this nigga's face just to rip his arms off so he couldn't do it anymore. Bro ripped his entire lower part of his arm and his hands off of his body, bro. <sighs> he said, oh, you don't want to let go? Oh, all right. Mm, snatchies. <laughs> snatchies. Dr. Seen all this, and that ran straight off the plug, bro. So they had to start chasing him. They finally catch up to this old nigga, but he doesn't have Kai, so they can't sense him. They know he's around, or at least they think, but he's hiding within these crags. And then he sees Piccolo, and one of the most paused moments I've ever seen happens, bro. This nigga grabs Piccolo from the back, right? Yeah. Goes, I know that sounds insane. Look how he on him, though. Look how he like on. he was about to hump him. I ain't gonna hold you. But Gohan and Piccolo are so Whoa. close because that's his real dad that he talked to this nigga Gohan telepathically. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, Gohan, yo, this big dad nigga grabbing me up, son. I need you. He grabbing you up, and son. And when I tell you Gohan came and Mickey me in the back of the head. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He rocked this nigga. They were about to jump him, yo. But Piccolo said, nah, nigga, this big me. And I was like, Piccolo, what you got? Stronger? Like, what's going on? Yeah. And I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Piccolo started punishing Dr. Jero. Yeah. Bad. Like, yo, he was doing him greasy. I said, yo, where did Jero you get wasn't that strong Piccolo anyway, though. Crazy. At this point, Trunks finally shows Jero up. Jero wasn't that strong up anyway, earlier, though. But they weren't in the right location. Trunks has been wrong about everything, by the way. It's probably because he changed the future, but... Do I hear five? Say anything about it. So he shows up. This man Piccolo yells his name out like... Ain't that real plot convenient to have Vegeta hear his son's name, but you know, whatever. Said, that's mine, At this man. point, he knows that's his son because they've already smashed in the three years and Trunks got born. It didn't take Vegeta that long to put the Yamin on her, you know, that Yamin. Nah, on the way here, too, and that was just the moment Dr. Jiro needed because he shot a blast at her car like he was enacting misogyny on Boma. If she wasn't here, Trunks saved the her. whole that's arc would have He was tight at Vegeta, fun. though. I ain't gonna lie. He said, bitch, I that's your son and your wife. Right. Pussy ass boy. Right. That's your, no, that's your seed. And Vegeta did not give a f so about boy. none of that, bro. He was like, bro, I do not care. Jero ran off while all this was happening. But Vegeta was Literally like, yo, brave. we're not going to just kill Android 17 and 18 before they get, you know, enacted, before they get active. We're going to let them activate and then fight them niggas. That's saying pride, bro. This ain't the first or last Wouldn't time I'm going to ruin something. They finally get to the last. That's saying pride was late, nothing man. but. Uh, 17 and 18 up. And they want to wake up 16 too. Now 16 is a whole only robotic ass android. Mm -hmm. I guess he was like an older version. And he was like, nah, I don't let him out. You feel me? He's a failed version. But they ain't like the way Dr. Jiro was talking to him. They smoked this nigga. But when I tell you Android Fun 17, fact, 16 was a clean off his shoulders. Uh, was made, was shoulders, modeled off the Dr. Jiro son. Nah, 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 nah. It was shoulders, knees, and toes. Was, knees was and no toes. head there. Anyways, they start blowing up the whole room, bro, but they ate that, yo. And they let this get Android 16 now. And I ain't gonna hold you, bro. These niggas is drippy. Android 17, black shirt, got the scarf, you feel? I ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie, drippy. Soft. Android 18, she, she look, all right, you know what I'm saying? She cool. She look, you know what I'm saying? I would hit, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I will put, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I mean, in that little Android, you know what I mean? Hmm, but Android yeah. 16, yo, he drippy in the lime green, bro. Oh, had the bean sprout suit on. I'm just saying. Yeah. So they decided to go to Goku at this point. Everybody tries to stop him and gets punished, bro. Punished. Vegeta even shows up. Yeah, Vegeta and gets got worked. Whooped badly. He just got a W just to get an L from a girl. Android 18 put the fucking mittens on this nigga. Yeah. Beat him up so much, this nigga went into a state of denial. Bro was like, no, it can't be. I'm the prince of all sight. We've heard it before, Vegeta. Yeah, and we see where it got Anyways, you. The rest of the Z fighters show up and they get destroyed, but they don't kill him. They're like, look, we're going to let you rock. You know what I'm saying? If y'all get stronger, you can fight us later. We really just trying to get Goku. So my man Krillin, you feel me? Hit him up with the Sensu beans and all that. They got healed up. 
and maybe Trump's maybe tells take the off. worst news ever. He was like, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. They I don't stronger, know what kind though. of spinach these niggas been eating, but these is way stronger than the other ones from my world. The ass whooping was astronomical here. They beat my ass so bad, I felt a different timeline ass whooping from different yeah, androids. Yeah, that's like, these crazy. He different. caught the same phase. Thought the only thing he could do at this point was go to Kami to try to fuse with him. And I ain't gonna hold you. Definitely gonna need it for the nigga we about to introduce real soon. Dang. Cause that nigga is a demon. <laughs> so fast forward, yo. We gotta talk about it, yo. This is the funniest shit ever, yo. This is where I like forgot where a meme originated from, and now I finally got to see it. I've seen this gif on Twitter a billion times. It's this nigga Vegeta standing in the rain. Mm -hmm. This nigga was out here like Marcus Houston and you got served, bro. This nigga was doing it for a little saint. I'm not going to hold you. I was standing in the rain depressed as hell. This got beat by an android. A girl android at that. Broke his so arm. At this point, we're about to introduce Single a kid. real fucking menace, yo. Because Bowman gets a call and a report that there's a time machine that got found. And for some reason, it looks a lot like the one that Trunks has. Mm -hmm. And Trunks is like, nah, it ain't mine. I capsulated mine. But he looks at the picture and they're like, all right, we got to go check this out, Nick. Yeah, that is my hole shit. So they get there and they get to the wiping it off, yo, and it says hope on the side. He and that's said, when this thing Trunks realizes, yo, this is the same time that's machine mine. from a different timeline. That's but mine. that has been there for mad years. Yeah. You can tell because it's algae on it. That's like it came fresh out it's of the Tarzan. Tarzan. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. And that's when the breaking news happened. Oh, my God, bro. Now, typically, I would just tell you what the news station said, but you know I got to hit y'all with the translation. Mm -hmm. They was like, yo, we're, we're, we're breaking news. <laughs> breaking yo, gang, yo. gang, gang. Hey, man, it's your boy Tyrone. I'm fresh out here for Channel 16 News. Yeah. I ain't going to hold you. It's a lot of niggas getting smoked out here. They for sure. Getting put in that Pause on the animation. I'm a little high right now, so you're going to have to excuse me. Hey, Keisha, mm -hmm. I love you, shorty. You know that. You know what I'm Bro. saying? I know I've been cheating on you. Oh, my fault. My fault. Yo. My fault. I just wanted to shout her out. My fault, camera man. But hey, listen. There's a nigga in this city smoking a lot of niggas right now. I don't know if y'all can see him or not. You probably can't. And I'm real scared to get close to him because Bro look crazy. I tried to spray that nigga with Raid. He looked like a roach for real. But he that, that nigga did not die. Big he beetle. this big ass tail on the back with a stinger on it. I don't know what's up with this Mosquito walking. Mosquito like, <laughs> He's sucking the life juices out of his paws. Pause. That was crazy. Okay. Hey, yo, but back to you, Diane. So at this point, yo, they introduced this man's cell, yo. He smoked that cameraman. So <laughs> 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 the fire set. The fire Oh, it's Because Kami realized that this evil energy he's been feeling for four years is this motherfucking demon. Cell. Cell. Oh, my God, bro. Once Piccolo fuses with Kami, he instantly goes to where Cell is at. And this is where the story really starts to pick up heat. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna hold you. Pick a low meat cell. They feeling everybody's Kai for some reason in this cell. I'm talking Freezer, Freezer's dad, Goku stole my man Goku's whole flow word for word, bar for bar. I ain't gonna lie to We hit this and his arm started like shrinking. It turned into celery or something. Shit. Like, you know bro me? had the arm like bro from Scary Movie too. Like, what's up with you? Yeah. But he was finessing this whole time, bro. Oh my God, bro. This man Piccolo. So Cell went up in the He's sky. Like, bro, your key is crazy, bro. Flare. I know to get stronger. He sucked up pause. Pause. Oh, that is no, crazy, this is gonna get bro. pause. He destroyed the... a whole city. Absorbed the whole city. He's chasing a woman through a hangar, bro. He's about to smoke her, and Krillin shows up. He I'm said, like, Krillin, Yo. what are you about to do, bro? Look how the Krillin same thing that Cell did. Solar flare. <laughs> Blew it. This nigga ran off on the plug twice. But Cell just hopped straight on an airplane, bro. When I tell you he rocked this nigga Krillin, he punched this nigga through the plane. Krillin's head went through the side of the plane like he was in a Looney Tune. On me. Thank God. Pick Thank God. That's all, bro, folks. Because if not, it would have been over for him. <sighs> man, this man Cell has been on the run for the longest time just collecting it, bro. He's got to have a five-star uh, level rating in GTA yeah, by now, something. bro. But anyways, Goku's back at this point, and he tells us about the hyperbolic time chamber. Basically, if you train mm -hmm. in here for a day, it equates to a year. Am I going to call it an ass pool? I won't. I won't. It's it Dragon Ball Z. Is it really, though? But it's a little convenient, Tori. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be critical. Even though it, anyways, even though Goku, it only helped in this Trump, situation, Vegeta, though. and Lil Gohan are all going to go train the hyperbolic time chamber, the androids hey, finally show up chase. to Master Roshi's spot. They went to Goku's house and caught him a pussy earlier because they realized he ran off. When they get here, Piccolo is kind of confident that he can take them on. There's three of them. 
But we probably shouldn't have been as confident. But hey, whatever. Yeah, because 17 Android was the Android 17 boy. versus Piccolo was one of my favorite fights. When Man, I tell what? you that the choreography in this was insane, these niggas was making Maka Mooka been for like 30 minutes. Mika, Maka Mooka, Two Maka episodes Mika. of nonstop. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Backflip, backflip, weave, weave, kick, punch, 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 punch. Last, <laughs> last, they're evenly matched, basically, bro. They're going crazy. He even hit this nigga the hell zone grenade. Of course, he had a barrier to block it, but that fight was insane. It was. Problem was, their Kai was increasing so much, and by they, I mean Piccolo, because androids don't have Kai, that self sensed it. <sighs> and this devious ass, it was like, <sighs> smells like he said, that, that smelly smell. Bro, when he got there, yo, was nothing they could do, bro. When I tell you, he punished this Android 17. He had the aura of a Super Saiyan at this point. I think this went Super Saiyan. Punished Piccolo. This shit was bad, Joe. Got but terrible. then Android 16 jumped in, and finally I was like, okay, hold on, we got the heavy hitter. Mm -hmm. They thought that this nigga was weak. 16 time, was going bro, crazy. He had the best advantage because he can't get absorbed. He's a robot. Bro was beating the shit out of cell what? first. Hit this nigga with the hell flash and everything. Bro's arm had a rocket. He got Bro's boom. arm turned into a rocket. With Mickey he came was back. banging on cell. Huh, fold my arms in. Hell flash. <laughs> Blew the whole round up. He was this banging nigga, bro, on shattering Cell. explosion. Cell's Kai was dropping traumatically, bro. But then this bitch ass nigga Android 17 being loud as shit talking about. Hey yo, you said you wanted to absorb me, right? What's up, pussy? It's big Android 17. I'm like, oh my god, yo, why like does he, he just do rocked that? you? This man Cell jumped out and had the demon look in his eye. You he knew was like, it was over, say bro. Say no and more. It happened, yo. This his tail opened up and it turned into a pussy. I'm just saying. Yeah. Bro, put a whole pussy on this it's Android crazy. 17 and sucked him up. Pause. Because your tail start as a stinger and then open up to a pussy. Pause. Like, what is happening? I ain't gonna question it, yo. You know what I'm saying? Toriyama goat, right? Anyways, he absorbs this nigga Android 17 and turns into his second form, bro. The second form is second less form ugly is and it's just more buff. He also can talk. I ain't gonna lie. Second form is sounding wet. like this. Nigga sound like Uncle Jimbo. Nigga sounded like the, the, the nigga was smoking cigs. Like, he said, nigga was smoking a box of port a day with that voice. I'm just saying. So, anyways, in the second form, they're no match. He punishes everybody yeah. here, bro. I'm not going to lie. And it's all they fault because they go there. Yeah, a chunk yeah, yeah, of yeah, Piccolo yeah. missing. Yo, the only chance they got is to run away, bro. And that's where this man Tien Shinhan showed up. I ain't going to lie. I know Seth was mad as hell the way Tien was hitting him with these mop in attacks, yo. He was hitting him with that. That was it, tri beam? Mm -hmm. Is it tri beam? It's like the triangle joint. I don't know. Tri beam. Like, nah, 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 nah. Bro used up almost all his car to keep this nigga still so we could move, yo. Android 18 to 16, they got away for the time being. For the time being. It got so bad. This man Goku had an instant transmission in there to save him. Bro teleported in, like, yo, what up, Cell? You a bitch? Get him, get him. <laughs> yeah, oh, took off. Oh. <laughs> Point is Gohan and Goku's turn to get in the hyperbolic time chamber. Vegeta and Trunks come out, and these niggas look so clean, bro. When I tell you they got swoped up, almost shows up, give these niggas battle armor, and they on the way to this bitch ass nigga cell, bro. When they get there, when I tell you this is some of the worst shit ever from this nigga Krillin and Vegeta, I'm about to break this down for you, bro. So they get there. Krillin's got this big ass remote that Boma has built to shut the androids down. Cool. It'll be awesome to shut her down and kill her so we can't absorb her. Awesome. Got that. Cell is here, Vegeta's here. Vegeta has ascended Saiyan. You feel me? He's an ascended Saiyan. He's a great being big ass nigga like Broly low key. He ain't as big, but he big. You feel me? Pause. He was punishing Cell bad. When I tell you this nigga was destroying this nigga, yo, we hit this nigga with the first punch. His hand was coming through Look his back. Face. Song. It didn't go all the way through, but you can see the imprint of his fist through his back. You know what nigga is punishing you when he does that? Punishes this nigga so bad, bro, to the point where this man cell was like, he said, I'm I bet, he said, I bet you won't let me go. Yeah, I bet you won't. This dumb ass nigga has saying pride. You remember I told you it would come back up into play later? Well, here it is, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for. He tells this nigga Vegeta, hey, yo, if, if you let me did, did, me absorb did, did, Android 18, I'm going to get mad strong. He you said, who won't? The perfect enemy. you going to have he the said, perfect, you know what I'm saying? Who won't? The perfect fighter. Who won't let you absorb? Perfect, y'all mean. Who won't let you absorb? Vegeta, like, all right, I'll allow it. Thank God Trunks was there to try to stop it. He was like, no. Try. Man. So he's fighting this nigga at this point. But Krillin fucked up, bro. He could have just deactivated her because Android 16 couldn't move and protect her and smoke her, bro. But this simp ass nigga kept being reminded in his head about the fucking kiss on the cheek he got from Android 18. It's just a kiss on the cheek, Krillin. Krillin, Krillin had so this many. He destroyed the remote, bro, and gave her free will. And because of this, 
the combination of Vegeta being a dumbass and prideful and, and then this then bitch nigga Krillin being a simp Cell absorbed Android 18 and created one of the most vile one of the most we ain't gonna cold, talk about that final flash Vegeta hit him with though one of the most demon Boy. activity characters in Dragon Ball Z history perfect Cell now get the, the 15,000 likes and you'll get the next part yeah do that do that you heard what he said do that do that game do that do that do that now no I ain't gonna do that to y'all I ain't gonna I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it now. I don't want to riot. I ain't. The little dumb. The sales saga was nuts. The sales saga was nuts. It's like, been on. That whole, even up to the very end, pride was the thing that got in everybody's way. Vegeta, the trunks. Goku, the only one. Honestly, Goku, the only one. Goku, the only one. Because Gohan ended up doing it too. Like, it's that y'all fucking saying. But, like I said, get it to 15,000 likes so we can get that part two. I need it. I need it. Because Cell was wilding, bro. Cell was tripping out, bro. And the Cell Juniors was just as bad. But look though, same channel gonna be linked down below along during the video. Make sure you go show us some love. I'm gonna catch y'all next one. Peace. Hit the sub button, bro.